Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60, six day challenge 9.0. And today is day 64. So today we are continuing our team training, and I'm going to dive into our website applet and show you the nuances with team sites versus agent sites and how you can build out your meet the team page on your team site. So we actually have not set anything up with regard to our team site. So we're gonna walk through this together as if you were setting up your team site for the first time. So I am in my team account. I know that because it says Team Leader Rainmaker. If you're not in your team account, just come make that switch. Um, I'm not sure if it actually matters, to be honest with you, which account you're in, because we're gonna, oh, it does matter. Yes, it does, okay. So uh, here's where we have to set up what we call our org profile or sort of your marketing profile for your team. So it asks me to set up the org profile. It's gonna take me to the settings menu with my marketing profile. Um, we've done this on the personal side way, way, way back when, like day zero, day one, uh, but we need to do the same thing for our team side. So it tells us we've gotta have a team logo required. So let me just find I'm just gonna throw a random Market Center logo in this spot. Um, let's find that, here we go, and here we go. Let's see if that'll open up. All right, uh, it doesn't look the best. I would make sure that you've got it formatted correctly and that you're 360 by 360, but it's gonna work for now. Um, coming down, it looks like we have to have a bio. So this is our team bio, which would be different from our personal bio. So this is where you can talk about your team, any of your stats, areas you service, etc. cetera. Um, it does require that I have my office phone number entered. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and put in your team email. So that might be info at or leads at or contact us at. Um, I'm just gonna put in my actual email here. It's also gonna ask us for a brokerage logo. I'm gonna throw the same exact one in there. And I think that's it. So you do have the ability, again, just like you do on your agent site to uh, check and take a look at forced registration and how you wanna handle that. Um, check with your market center with regards to all of this stuff, your legal footer text, legal footer links, um, you know, each county and state and city is a little bit different. So get with your market center to find out what's required in that space. It's most likely the exact same thing that's required in your personal profile, but I would check just to confirm. So now that we have our team sites marketing profile saved, we're going to go back to websites. We're still on our team account and we haven't claimed a team subdomain. So this is going to be separate from our agent site domain we're gonna go in and actually claim a team domain. So I've gotta click on the settings tab, and then I'm gonna come down and you can see team website settings. So I'm just gonna put uh, team selling in kdtx.kw.com. Hey, by claiming your subdomain, it's gonna be sent over to the new content management system. Yep, I'm good to go, let's claim it. So, as soon as I click on that, you can now see, right, that I do have our team referral links. This information is managed by your market center leader. Please contact them. Uh, this essentially is your team website URL, right, which is what we just built. And now we have a team app link as well. And then if we scroll back up, we can see that we've got the edit team website. So when I click on this, it's gonna take us into a similar page that we have already seen before. This is sort of our site editing page, uh, but it's gonna be a little bit different because now we're gonna make edits to the team page. So we're gonna explore on our own. At the very top here, be careful because you can see it loaded by default my personal page. And these are all those pages that we had already built during our training on agent sites for a personal agent. If I click here though, now I can change to my team site. So I am now making edits to my team site. Uh, the same pages you can add to your team site as you did your personal. So in the past, we talked about the home valuation, the mortgage calculator, the YKW page. We talked about blogs. All of those same options are available on your team site as well. They don't transfer over from your personal site. 
So you are most likely going to want to build them on your team site if you are using KW site program for your team site. The other thing too to take note of is that on team sites, you've got a meet the team page. We're gonna click here and make sure that all of this information has been loaded. So right now you can see it's pretty blank. First thing we're gonna do is click on company profile. This is where I can upload a banner image in the back here. So where this gray and white box is, that might be a great spot for your team photo or something along those lines, right? Um, you can also headline, uh, edit the headline text. Company profile probably doesn't look that great. So meet the selling in Katy, Texas team. All right, and you can see as we make the edits to that headline, it's updating that over here. Next up, you've got the meet the team list. This is actually where you're gonna decide how to display the agents on your team. So first off, you don't have to have the meet the team modal at all. If you're like, hey, you don't need to know who's on my team and I'm not gonna put that out here, you can just hide this display altogether and it won't even show up. Don't know why you would, maybe you would, you get to decide. Uh, but then you've got the title, meet the team, right? So it's kind of uh, a little bit redundant here. So now that we know that this is gonna be down here, um, maybe I'm just gonna put, take out the word meet in the headline text. And there we've got meet the team. All right, so we've got the description. We believe success is through our people. Maybe I'll change that to, you'll love living in Katy, Texas, and we're here to help, something cheesy like that, right? Uh, next up, we've got our team members. So you've got a couple of options here. You can do dynamic, and that's where you can choose your actual team members, private team members, and additional partners. Or you can do basic, and that's where you're going to have to manually add each one of your members. So if we go back to dynamic, and let's say uh, featured team members will be listed first, just as a heads up, and then everyone else will be listed alphabetically. So I can come in here and say, okay, who do I wanna search for, right? And we're gonna put in, oops, search by name, and so I type in my name. I think it's only gonna give us this one name because literally we're in a pro coach account and no one's been added to our team. Um, so we can do that. I don't think that's going to add it. Um, so again, with the limitations of this pro coach account, we only have one person on the team. That's good old KW Premier, KD Texas. You can see we're already listed. But if you had additional people that you wanted to add, you could just keep clicking that plus sign and that's how you would add those individuals. If for any reason you wanted to remove them, click the minus sign and that removes them. You can also, as you add people, click and drag them. So for any reason you wanted to put somebody before someone else, click and drag the order of the featured team members. Next up, private team members. Not sure why you really would use this to be totally honest with you because you can see they're not gonna be displayed, but you do have additional partners. So this might be your favorite lender, your favorite title rep, your favorite inspectors, anything along those lines, you can see that you can click on plus, select or create new partner, right? And we're going to create new. And this is where I can come in and let's just say it's good old Fred Flintstone, another one of our favorite fictional characters. Uh, and Fred is the uh, mortgage officer for bed rock title All right and then I could even choose to upload right his headshot I could upload bedrock titles um, logo I could then come in and add in a phone number this is just our office phone number I could add in Fred's fake email it's not a real email obviously with gfail but you can see what that would look like and once I have all that information in, I can click on publish. I've now created a new team member. I'm gonna go back. Now, when I click on the drop down, you can see Fred's available in our drop down. I'm gonna click his name, and now you can see what that looks like. So I've got myself, and again, I would probably have some other team members in between here, and then you can start adding your additional partners and see what that looks like as well. Finally, and sort of along these lines, you've got the My Preferred Vendor section. 
Again, this is powered by Move Easy. We've talked about this uh, during the agent site videos. This is no different, right? So this is how you can add in your preferred vendors from the Move Easy site. The process is exactly the same. Click on the link, create the account, load the vendors, select them. You can also choose to show your market center partners. You can toggle that on if your market center has got partners set up. You can see we have that set up for our market center. So this pro code just tied to our market center. We have preferred vendors already set up with our market center. So if you are a new team, you don't have any preferred vendors, but you do want preferred vendors showing up, you might select those that the company has already you know, recommended for you. You can see all the different ones that we've got there. So um, there you go. So there are some options as far as adding vendors, adding additional partners, adding your team members, and then making sure that your headline and your banner image look good for your team. That's the Meet the Team page. It's really the only unique page on a team site that's different from an agent site because obviously on an agent site, you're not gonna have a team, it's just gonna be you. Um, but everything else is very similar. You're gonna add blogs, you're gonna add the mortgage calculator, home valuation tool, landing pages, custom pages, all of that stuff is still available for you to create from the team side. Just know that those are getting added to your team website, which is different from your personal website. So you're gonna have two different URLs, right? Selling in Katy, Texas and team selling in Katy, Texas or whatever the two different websites. Um, you are gonna to have to decide if you're on a team, especially with Rainmakers and team members, uh, what website are we all gonna use? Are we each gonna use our own separate site? Or are we all gonna agree that we're all going to send leads to the team website? Totally your decision. I don't have a dog in the fight, but I would make sure if I was a Rainmaker that my team knew and understood what the uh, best practice was there. So that's it for team sites. Two days left, guys. The end is near. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.